Recently, a viewer and I were having a conversation about my Missing People series. She's from Iceland, and she brought up something that I found interesting. It's not really a conspiracy theory, but, you know, we can deal with that. Iceland is a country filled with beautiful yet stark landscapes. It's the home of both Gregor the Mountain Clegane and Bjork, as well as a population of incredibly attractive females. Well, in any case, last year in Iceland, a woman named Birna went missing. There followed a huge public outcry and a search. She was found dead eight days later on the beach. Foul play was established and the suspects, a pair of sailors from Greenland, were arrested. The authorities did an outstanding job. It was a terrible and tragic event and I'm thankful that justice was served. However, many more men go missing or commit suicide in Iceland than women and the outcry isn't quite as pronounced as it was in Birna's case. I'm not saying that people don't get, you know, don't care. I'm just saying that I believe Berna got more attention because she's a beautiful young woman. Iceland is the first country to have laws that basically force a company to prove they pay women employees as much as men. I don't have any issue with that, really, as long as it's equal pay for equal work. However, if you're going to have a law like that to regulate salaries, then you should have laws to prove you have as much media coverage and devote as many resources to finding a missing man as you do a missing woman. Gender equality goes both ways, doesn't it? If I were a father of a missing man in Iceland, I'd want a search as dedicated and a public outcry as unified as the one Berna received. I'm not a big MGTOW activist, but if you're going to fight for equality and claim one sex has an advantage over the other, surely you should see the institutional sexism that's involved when a community rallies in justified outrage over a woman missing, but has a lukewarm response when a male is in the same situation. It's a natural instinct for men to protect and preserve children and women. When you're reading a book or watching a film about a sinking ship, there's always cries of women and children first. When I hear a feminist talking about the pay gap or inequality in the workplace, I never hear them complaining about underrepresentation of women in construction or waste management. Currently, I believe we have equality in the West. If you do the same work, you get paid the same. If you want the same job, you better have the same qualifications. If you want to be treated equally, don't complain when a woman slaps a man and gets slapped back. Cherry picking when you want to be treated equally isn't the way equality works. During the 1970s, Iceland had a 24-hour period called Woman's Day Off. Basically, it was a completely justified event in which women did not do a damn thing at home or at work. Men found out painfully how much their daily lives actually relied on the women next to them. It was also known as the day the fathers of Iceland ran out of sausages, due to them having to prepare lunch and dinner for the kids. You know, I, I think it was a good thing at the time. There was a pay gap back then, and mothers weren't as appreciated as they are now. I think now the women of Iceland could use a man's day off. You know, let's see how well things work out when all the men don't go to work or help take care of the kids. I think uh, results would pretty much be the same. Thanks for watching, everybody. I know this is a short one, but I'll be downloading another conspiracy theory video, actually, probably in a few hours, maybe? You know, same day? Anyway, guys, feel free to donate to my Patreon to keep the videos coming, and uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot, guys.